Inequalities are ways of comparing two numbers. Uh, and uh, inequality symbols are the symbols we use in those comparisons. And here are the four main symbols. So there we have the less than sign, less than or equal to sign, and greater than sign, and the greater than or equal to sign. And the shapes of these symbols actually show us what they mean. For if you see the less than sign, it's smaller on the left hand side than on the right hand side. This means that the number on the left is going to be smaller than the number on the right. And similar with the greater than sign. It's bigger on the left than it is on the right. So the number on the left is going to be bigger than the number to the right of the symbol. And the less than or equal to signs have a line on the bottom so that it kind of looks like an equal sign. In fact, it's a combination of the less than sign and an equal sign, which is exactly what the symbol means. And um, so inequalities basically are statements. And uh, these are called strict inequalities. And these are called weak inequalities, because they allow for a number to be equal to itself. So here are some examples. 4 is greater than 3. It's true. 4 is a greater number than 3. 3 is less than 6 is also true. 6 is less than 3. Well, that's false. 6 is bigger than 3. And so every inequality is a, is a statement. It's a true or false statement. Then we have 6 is uh, less than or equal to 6. And this is true because that's a weak inequality. And 6 is less than 6 is false because that's a strict inequality. It doesn't include itself. Then we have an example like x is less than 6, which we don't know whether it's true or false because we don't know what x is. Um, so in cases like this, instead of talking about true or false, we think to ourselves, what are all the values of x that make the uh, inequality true? And so that's called the solution set. The solution set is the set of all values of the variable, or in some other cases, variables, that make an inequality or any type of uh, comparison or relation true. In this case, the numbers 4, 1, and negative 3 would all be part of the solution set because all of those numbers are less than 6, while 7, 10, and 6 would not be because all of those are not less than 6. And when we have inequalities, we can always graph them. And this is what the graph looks like. And a lot of students have difficulty remembering which direction the line is to go in. But all of those difficulties, I feel, uh, go away when you realize that the line goes over every point, every number in the solution set. So don't worry about the direction of the graph as much as the fact that the graph lies above all the numbers in the solution set. So think to yourself, if five, is 5 less than 6? Yes. So therefore, it goes in that direction of where 5 is. Is 4 less than 6? Yes. So it's in that direction. Is 0 less than 6? Yes. So it's in that direction. Um, it's confusing because it's best to know rather than, oh, the less than sign will always mean means it goes to the left. Think about what the statement means first and then graph it. Another example is x is greater than 8. Well, what numbers are greater than 8? 9 is greater than 8. 10 is greater than 8. 15 is greater than 8. So the line extends from 8 into all the points greater than 8. And notice that there's a hollow circle in these examples above the 6 and the 8. That means that the answer cannot be a 6. In fact, the line does not go above the 6. The line uh, goes above every point less than the 6 and greater than the 8, but it doesn't include those numbers themselves. That's because these are strict inequalities. 8 is not greater than 8. 6 is not less than 6. But if we have the example x is greater than 8, then we draw a filled in circle because the line uh, goes over 8. We want the line to go over the 8. So 8 is indeed greater or equal to 8, because it's equal to 8. And so that's what that graph will look like. So my main advice with this is just think about what the um, inequality means. Think about what the solution set is. What numbers make the inequality true rather than false. And when you graph it, the line will go over all those numbers that make uh, the inequality true. Don't have a preconceived notion that the left, less than goes this way and greater than goes the other way because if you have it in the, the variable in the other place, you might get confused. Think about meaning first.